actress Madeline Stowe has earned critical praise for her performances in films like The Last of the Mohicans and Robert Altman's Shortcuts. In her new movie, We Were Soldiers, she plays a dedicated military wife who shows remarkable courage while her husband fights for his life during a key battle in the Vietnam War. Madeline Stowe, good morning and welcome. Thanks for having me. Until this movie, you thought, like a lot of us, that these guys, these military men, were, quote, chest-thumping, cigar-smoking, macho guys. What's the as you discovered it, Madeline? Um, I grew up, when I was a child, um, with all the imagery of the Vietnam War and the protesting that had gone on. And I had a brother who went to Annapolis, wanted to go to Annapolis, so I was showing him films like Apocalypse Now <laughs> to try to discourage him from it, because that was my idea of what the military was about. And I came to find that um, they're like all of us. And I was very, very privileged to get a glimpse of a, of a world that I would never ordinarily get to see. And Hal Moore, who uh, Mel Gibson plays in this movie, has he's, he's a real dichotomy. On the one hand, he's a tremendous soldier. Uh, and he has a deep, deep love for the men that, that he went to battle with, so much so that I think that it really crushed him. Um, with a number of losses, that uh, casualties that they suffered, and he goes to their their their, their grave sites, and he speaks to his men, and I think he really feels that one day he's going to see them again. I think we see see here is that Helmore on the left, and uh, and Mel Gibson on the right. Yes. Uh, Mel Gibson, who you play opposite in this movie, yes. plays Helmore, who was this great colonel who promised his men that he would bring them back. He promised he would bring them back dead or alive. He would, he would never bring them leave back. anyone and, and he didn't, which is all the more remarkable. But I think the thing that, the, that Americans will not be prepared for in seeing this woman, especially women will not be prepared for, is how much this movie, while it is about war, is also about those human relationships. As you say, they are real people. We have a clip, actually, because you play Julie Moore, the wife of mm -hmm. Hal Moore. And here is a scene from, uh, I think, their last night together. Yeah. You know, even here. I'm not laughing. I'm marveling. Marvel. What? You can find stubbornness in your children and think it comes from anybody but you. Well? Mm -hmm. I'll give you something to marvel at. Well, there's so many more clips, but my gosh, being tickled by Mel Gibson, number one, must have been fun in terms of playing this role. <laughs> But Hal and Julia actually are a very romantic couple. They, they've been together now, is it 52 years? Uh -huh. And um, Julia was a really, really fascinating woman because when the, the reports that the men were dying uh, came in, they were being delivered by, tel uh, by telegram, right, by, by taxi right. cab. And so it, it filled the neighborhood in absolute terror. And she saw to it that she went and saw every one of these women just as they were being notified. And she has great spine. She decided know? to do that. She didn't have to do no, that. To, she to wasn't her duty. And she didn't know when the te cabs came up whether the telegram was to tell her that her husband never had knowing died. that absolutely and there's an incredible moment actually where where a cab rolled to her home and she hid behind a curtain to see, as if it would go away you know and that she would never actually receive that kind of news it turned out to be for someone else but she she took care of these women and they were very very close and i think the military wife has been much underestimated because they have to hold that family together. She had five children and had to move at a moment's notice and really roll with what was given to her. And, and I think a life in suspension, living a life in suspension, is maybe almost as horrible as, as what the men had to go through in battle. And as you were, as you were uh, shooting these scenes where she's delivering these telegrams, yeah. you actually had people watching who had actually lost people That's right. in, uh, in war, who had been on the other end of receiving basically w notices from the War Department that their loved ones had died. Yeah. How, how surreal, difficult was that for you? Well, you know, it's, it's two things because I think actors live very, very charm lives and we were very fond and attached and we, to these people and we realized that this picture was much bigger than anything that we could ever, um, their lives are bigger than anything that we could represent. But, um, I remember feeling a bit indecent in a sense because we had to go from door to door to door and these people were watching who had lost their husbands and I, I felt um, I felt like a voyeur and I felt that I shouldn't have been there <laughs> and I also knew I had a job to do and it was it was wrenching in a sense you know because um, you'd never want to diminish what their own pain was and yet you could never completely feel what they were feeling it, it was 
I didn't like myself too much on those days. Well, I have to say that people watching you in this role will like, I, I think even, and being from a long military family, I can say that a lot of military people, military wives, will feel that you do honor in, oh. to, this, to these people. Do you, Thank you. Did you come away from doing this role with something else in terms of your perception? Oh, absolutely. People? I mean, I think that, that, you know, cinema works best when you're, you're dealing with themes of attachment and devotion. And I mean, I think that's all that binds us together in our society. And we've forgotten about that. And I think that we've run our lives on adrenaline and as if adrenaline was the most valuable commodity and, and it's attachment that's the most important. And these people to this day are profoundly attached to one another. And I've become very, um, very, very close with the Moors and they've been very good to me. Madeline Stowe, I'm sure they're grateful for your participation in the Thank movie you. and also for your friendship. Thank you. Thank for you so much. It's a pleasure morning. speaking with you. For me as well.